today we got a 15-inch uh, MacBook Pro, which which came, um, which was sent all the way from New South Wales to us, and uh, came with a not turn, turn state to us. So, if you look at the charger, it just stays at zero, and it's not taking any charge. So, it it's a priority case. So let's jump into it straight away and get this data recovered. Right. We took the board out of this 15-inch uh, MacBook Pro, so let, let's go through it quickly. Um, we, we can see some oxidation here, so this is literally rust. Fortunately, this is quite a dangerous area because over here we are getting um, 2.4 volt, sorry, 2.5 volt uh, lines for the SSD and this, this is where the SSDs are basically we have two on, on each side, one on the other side and, and one over here which which is basically where the, the data is stored. Bad thing about this area is that this is literally the edge of the board so all this dust and fluff gets collected inside. Bad thing with the dust is that it, if it's not serviced on a regular basis, it starts absorbing humidity. And if we look under the microscope, we can see how uh, all the oxidation over here got got gathered. Sorry, the humidity got gathered and created the, the, the oxidation and even this little coil rusted on top. This is where the, the SSD is. So all the user data is stored here. So um, a little short circuit here can easily blow the, the uh, SSDs because the internal resistance of this SSD is really small, probably around 4, 40 ohms, I believe, somewhere there. So th this is a voltage regulator which gets a high voltage, well, when we say high voltage, probably around 15 to 19 volts, and then drops it down to 2.5 volts through th this Basically, it's a step-down back converter, converter, which then feeds the SSD. So you have some filtering capacitors here, and this is a metal shield. You can see how it is um, oxidated here. I'm not sure how clear it is, but uh, yeah, little oxidation here and fil fil filtering capacitors. So most likely we are dealing with a blown SSD, which means that nothing we can do to repair th this machine. However, we will do our best. So we want to measure what is the resistance over here. So our, our trusty multimeter. You hear that? That's, that's the sound of a dead SSD area. So that's five ohms, uh, 0.5 ohm, ohms barely. If we go in an ohm mode, yeah, 0.5 ohms. So we have a short circuit here. We're gonna move this one on the infrared camera because we, we wanna see uh, with a slight voltage injection if the SSD is heating up. If the SSD heats up, then we have a blown SSD, probably internally shorted. So we, we, we're gonna inject one volt because this is a 2.5 volt line, so we don't wanna over, over blow the, the circuitry. So two coils are connected on the same uh, line, so let's go through it. One, two, three. One, well, three amps. And yes, we can see that the little capacitors on the side, not this, is the other ones which are heating up. So those capacitors there. If we look a little bit closely, probably second or first capacitor. If we jump into the schematic, so this is where we injected the, the voltage passes through this coil and goes into this capacitor. So we have either one of these capacitors over here short, short circuiting, which is great. Why it's great? Because they are uh, filtering capacitors for the SSD and, and hopefully they, they were the ones which blew, not the SSD itself. So this is the SSD over here. That's an excellent news. So let's fire up our iron and we will try to pull those capacitors one by one and we'll see which one is uh, short circuiting. My hunch is the second one, but uh, let's go with it. Okay, 
we, we pulled out that little blown capacitor, which was second one, looked a little bit cracked in a way. So that my um, that kind of gave, gave, gave it away. So let's see if we're getting short circuit here now. So this is the same 2.5 SSD line, 2.3K. That, that's the type of in, uh, internal resistance we are expecting on this side of it. And the other side is showing very good results as well. So we are very helpful uh, and hopeful that this uh, SSD is doing great. Okay, excellent. So we, we remove the cap and let's see if we're going to get some stable um, power pull from this board. We pulled out a second capacitor on, on this line over here, which had uh, quite a few oxidation around it. So let's see if it's gonna be taking any any current now. All right, so we connected our multimeter, XM5024. Let's see if it's gonna communicate the PD. 19, excellent, 19.03, 0.32. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Right, we saw a blip. So this model doesn't turn on with a battery connected. So let's put it back in the case and test. Okay, we are back in, in its case. Let's see. So 5.025. Two amps. 90.032. It starts, starts charging the battery. They're going to charge the battery. Fans are on. You're going to get anything on the screen. Anything on the screen? Yeah. Beautiful. So now we are in a Frankenstein mode. We're gonna extract the data because this is a data recovery case, and we will test the the machine further with those components replies. So customer's data is backed up safe and sound, which means that we can continue now with the repair and hopefully bring this um, MacBook to its former glory. Okay, what we had here was a shorted capacitor on this side of the SSDs. Luckily, it didn't blow the SSD. The second one was over here. So this is another filtering cap for the SSDs on the, on the right wing. So we will go ahead, clean this area and um, fit that cap. We're done with the board, so we soldered those capacitors back, back in place. Just want to show you quickly, um, this is the reason why they fail. So this area on the sides of the MacBook where the charging ports are a little bit below, between the charging ports and the, and the speakers, there's a little opening here from where it, it breathes out, or breathes in actually. Um, so air comes from here cools the board and fans blows it out. And if it's not serviced on a regular basis, all, all this fluff and dust gets collected inside. This fluff and dust, once it's collected, it gathers inside and creates that great environment for it to start oxidize down the track. That's the reason why we saw that little green spots in the edge of the, of the board. So let's clean and service it now. Now with the service uh, si system cleaned, with the system being serviced, I meant, we can put the board back. Before we completely assemble it, let's just quickly check if it's still loading and charging the system. There you go, so 43 watts, fans are spinning, it seems to be good to go, so we will, we will assemble and test further. Okay, machine is assembled. Let's recrank the battery and fire this baby up. 
charger. Let's see what we get in a minute. Loading up. Nice. So that's a charging sound, and we are in. Successfully repaired MacBook. All right. So let's quickly recap what happened here. So th this is how the board looks like. This is where the edge is. Basically, this part here, and unfortunately, the way how Apple designed these models, we have the, the SSD fitted SSD chips in the edges of the board, so on, on both sides, top and bottom. Usually, the one which is at the bottom is is where the the dust get get stuck and cannot escape from the system, and same applies from the from the right side as well. So this little capacitor on, on the right side had, had failed. So this is one of the filtering caps over here in the, in, in the PP bus line. That, but this was more, more dangerous over here because the second capacitor is literally on the, on the 2.5 volt NAND line. So very easily it can short circuit and, and blow this uh, 2.5 volt uh, voltage regulator. Which, which takes a, a higher voltage, PP bus voltage, which is 12 volt, and, and drops it down to uh, 2.5 volt to, to, to able to feed the, the power, to reduce the power before it feeds it into, into the NAND chips, NAND chips are the SSD chips. Very, very lucky customer. So uh, we had so many cases like, like this with the blown capacitors over there, on, on, over that area, which blow the SSD in such cases, we, we can't do anything to recover the data because SSDs are soldered onto the motherboard and are, are on top of that encrypted. So even if we, we want to desolder and take them out and solder to another machine, we cannot access the data because it, it's encrypted with a CPU or, or the, the, the T2 security chip. So that's it with this repair. Moral of the, sto of the story is service your MacBooks on a regular basis. They don't, they don't need much. Components inside are tiny. And uh, you can see how small these capacitors are here. They are small. <laughs> this is my finger. So that's how small they are. Don't need much to, to able to overheat, oxidize, or, or crack. And today, this one's are mobile machines, so they are uh, exposed to serious amount of heat and distress from the environment around us. Thank you guys for watching. And if you need this service, all the information is in the description.